Alrighty, what is going on ladies and gentlemen today I got for you a very fast video on the best way to level for phase 3 level 40 to 50 in SOD. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So now since we have a few days left here before we get into the new phase, we actually have a few options here. So now I spent about 40-50 hours making this grid right here. And I will leave it in the description below as well. It'll be free to open and anything like that. It gives you the best 20 quests to have prepped and ready to go for your leveling experience. And as well as the exact route to take. Now, if you follow this route exactly, it should take you about two to three hours to complete all of this. And you will be level 44-ish when you are done. I put the XP values right here. In and the total cumulative values right here, which will get you to level 44 pretty much right off the bat. Now, just to further clarify what exactly the colors mean, because it's probably a little bit confusing looking at it for the first time here. The gray is the pre-quests, so that any quests that you need to do before getting a quest in your quest log, because you're going to basically have your quest log full, is going to be right there. The yellow quests here are pretty simplistic. They are just the ones that you're gonna have in your quest log ready to turn in before phase three launches. And then you have the optionals, which are in like this lightly orange one. These are gonna be if you can't do one of the other ones because some of the yellows are quite hard to do. And if you can't find a group for it, it might be a little bit prohibitive to be able to do them. Next here, we actually got the follow-ups. So that is the blue quests are going to be follow-ups to other quests. So for example, you get the Grime Encrusted Ring, which is a drop from Nomergon. You can actually do two quests follow-up and it gives you more experience that way as well. And the greens are quest items that you have in your bag that you do not have in your log. Pretty self-explanatory. And the purple are actually quests that you're going to be doing while leveling. So you're going to be picking them up after the reset. Because, for example, you're going to grab In Search of the Temple when you're already turning in other quests in Stormwind anyway. So you might as well grab that. Now, while this list may be tweaked a little bit or there's one or two things missing from here or there, it is 99% there and done. All right. You can figure out how to optimize it a little bit better, but you're probably not going to get too much out of it. If you just follow this, you are going to basically Get there now the pre-questing time took me about nine hours because i was figuring it out and the placement in the route as i was doing it however if you just do it from top to bottom it'll probably take you about six hours so you still can do about three hours tonight tomorrow and before the day launch on the 4th of april so you have that as well and in terms of the best route to take to be as efficient as possible you're gonna set your hearthstone to tanneris first of all then you are gonna start out in booty bay that's actually where you're gonna start in from you you are going to go ahead and turn in all the booty bay quests that should give you about 44,000 experience then you're going to get summoned to scarlet monastery cathedral so hopefully you have a warlock set up there or you buy a summon really fast and you're going to do that five times really fast just to get the lockout out of the way you will be at level 41 at this point then you are going to fly or teleport or be summoned to stormwind and you're going to turn in a bunch of quests there and that will give you about 26,000 experience then you are going to pick up in search of the temple then and you're going to teleport or summon to iron forge and you're going to turn in all your quests there and if you don't have all the nobregon quests done pick those up if you just turn in all the quests that should be about 60,000 experience if you have the nomergon quests that's another 30,000 experience and when you run nomergon you are going to be getting about 107,000 experience that's not 100 percent confirmed but that is pretty confirmed right now from what i'm seeing here next if you have not done the sleeping bag quest find a warlock group that pays to do it basically in trade chat or in lfg chat there are going to be a bunch of warlocks spamming hey we have a group of five warlocks you're going to pay us 15 g total and we're going to summon you to each point on the quest so that way it takes you about five six minutes to do instead of the three hours to do because of all the traveling time and it's 30,000 experience which is really really nice next you're going to fly or you're going to get summoned to the badlands and you're going to turn in all the quests there there is not a single quest here besides one possibly which is going to be in your quest log all of them are going to be in your bag next you are going to go to the hinterland so get summoned there or fly Turn in all the quests there. That's another 37,000. Then you're going to take your Hearthstone to Tanneris, and you're going to turn in all the quests, and you're going to pick up all these Zulfarak quests. That's going to be about 67,000 experience. Then you're going to run Zulfarak until you're level 45. Then 
get a port or a summon to iron forge and fly to nether guard keep or just get a summon directly to nether guard keep and get all of the quest turn ins all the bag turn ins done and that's 35,000 experience and i'm not even including that in the overall here because the entire goal was to get to level 44 so you can actually get into zulfrak as fast as possible now we don't know if the student fodder is actually going to work for level 40 to 50 there's no implication that it won't work so if you do still have all your seven student fodders you should definitely keep them and use them when you're spamming zf as it's going to make it go two times as fast because it's rested experience and then you're going to be basically running Zulfarak until you are level 50. The entirety of the process should take you, I'm estimating here, if student fodder works between seven and eight hours. Maybe a little bit faster, maybe a little bit slower, depending on your comp. Now, if you are a regular person and you're not really interested in spending six, seven hours in pre-questing before the launch even begins, or if you saw this video too late and weren't able to do any pre-questing and you are now into the new phase looking for the best way to level, uh, we got a few other alternatives here for you. So first of all here, we have is another grid here when it goes over all of the dungeon experience values per hour the green is going to be the most optimal or the most experience per hour the orange is going to be pretty good you can get a little bit better uh, value out of that and the red is not really worth it and you shouldn't really do those at that level so what you're going to be doing is basically level 40 to level 42 you're going to be running a uh, scarlet monastery cathedral you're going to get the most amount of experience there then you're going to do Old Demand once and just make sure that you collect all the quests up for that. If you don't want to do Old Demand, that's fine. You can just skip straight over to Zulfarak. That's also great. You might have a little bit of problems hitting the mobs at this level. So maybe try to get to level 43. So try to maybe do an Old Demand and then head over to Zulfarak at level 43. You can pretty much grind that easily until level 48. Now, if you don't really want to do Zulfrak over and over, you can swap and go over to Maradon at level 46, and you can run that until level 48. And then at that point, you can go back to Ironforge and then head over to BRD Prison or Houndmaster or Arena. Um, and that's going to give you the best amount of experience. Now, if you don't want to do any of that, if you don't want to dungeon grind at all and you just want to quest, you'll be getting approximately uh, these values here all the way on the right now you can do that solo questing that's also fine you can do a mixture of the questing and dungeons however you want to do it but those are going to be your best experience values right there as well all right well that's pretty much all i got for you guys today thanks so much for watching if you liked it please go ahead and you know give it a like and subscribe if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and i will be sure to answer them and that's pretty much all we got for today peace out